Since childhood, I've been fascinated by steam locomotives, especially the complex tangle of rods and links that control the movement of these powerful behemoths. The evolution of these machines is the product of some brilliant design engineering. Recently, I took some time to make a long overdue project, namely a working model to demonstrate and elucidate the operation and function of these practically primordial machines in detail. Besides the power transmitting piston and connecting rods that drive the wheels, and which most folks are familiar with, there is a second set of rods and links that control the timing of steam injection and exhaust from the cylinders. Prior to the 1844 invention of Belgian engineer Edgid Walschertz, these valve mechanisms had a fixed timing cycle and thus were fairly inefficient in managing a boiler's finite steam resource. Here is Walschertz valve gear in operation. It consists of a sliding spool valve that is driven back and forth, conducting high-pressure steam from the center of the chamber into alternating end ports of the working cylinder below it. Simultaneously, the valve sends steam to one end of the cylinder while the other end is exhausted through the opposite end of the valve chamber. In this case, you can see that the valve remains open for nearly the entire stroke of the piston. This timing scheme results in the maximum power. Here's how it works. The valve spool motion is the result of two linkage trains resolved by the combination rod. While the lower linkage moves synchronously with the piston, the upper linkage is 90 degrees out of phase due to its connection to a second eccentric on the primary drive wheel. The eccentric is linked to a special expansion link, which transmits motion to the radius rod, and the radius rod in turn links to the combination rod just above the valve stem connection. As the upper linkage is 90 degrees out of phase with the lower, it subtracts motion at one end of the piston stroke and adds it at the other, thereby keeping the injection ports open for the maximum duration. Now, once the train has reached running speed, full power is no longer required. To conserve high pressure steam then, the valve timing can be adjusted to reduce the injection period with respect to the piston stroke. The expansion link gives the engineer the ability to do this by controlling how much secondary motion is transmitted to the combination link. As the radius rod pivot is adjusted to the center slot position in the expansion link die block, the motion contributed by the secondary eccentric linkage is effectively canceled. Consequently, the travel of the valve stem is greatly reduced and thus the steam injection period is shortened to just a fraction of the piston stroke. The engine can be continually adjusted between high power and high efficiency as the situation demands. Finally, by adjusting the radius rod to pivot above the expansion link pivot, the eccentric motion is effectively applied 90 degrees out of phase in the opposite direction, thereby reversing the engine.